When assisting customers with a film selection for their applications, one of the most commonly asked questions is, when should I use a hard-coated film versus using an uncoated film? The third part of our four-part series will cover embossing and forming. The third of four main application characteristics or needs to consider that will assist in determining if a hard-coated film is needed. What do you do if the forming or embossing requirements dictate the use of an uncoated film, but the finished application needs the field benefits of a hard-coated film? Forming. In general, an uncoated film can be elongated further than a coated film since there will be a point that most coated films will microcrack. However, plenty of forming applications do need the benefits that a hard coat offers in terms of scratch, abrasion, and chemical resistance. Most manufacturers will look at the specs of the finished application and design parameters to determine which type of film to use. If a hard coat is needed, they can make sure they do not reach the point where the finished part might microcrack by working with the geometry of the part by doing things such as changing the layout of the part, such as how close their pieces are to each other on a sheet, change parameters of the forming process, and even using different forming equipment. Embossing. This is very similar to forming as the manufacturer needs to look at the features the finished product needs along with the design of the piece to determine if a hard-coated or uncoated film is needed. Uncoated films generally are easy to emboss and allow for a larger emboss button. Hard-coated films in general will microcrack when embossed, although it will not be seen to the naked eye and will not affect the life of the switch. If you push the embossed limits of a hard-coated film, then you will need to determine if the embossed is still aesthetically pleasing. So a manufacturer needs to look at specific items to determine which type of film to use, including what are the dimensions of the embossed button, what is the travel of the tactile device of the snap dome, what is the actuation life that is needed for the application, do you need chemical scratch and abrasion resistance for the finished application? The answers to these questions will help you determine if a hard coat of film is needed and whether you need to change the design of the embossed button to meet the final application needs.